Namur, Belgium, the 1979 Belgium 500 Grand Prix. Namur, the track sits up on top of the city of Namur. It's called the Citadel. There you see the starting area and the pits up on top of the track. Tyke Mikola's Mercedes and the trailer he pulls his family with. There goes his bike. Tyke was the defending world champion. This would be his last year of racing. Here comes Roger Jacoster's bike. This was Roger's last year riding for Team Suzuki. Hakan Anderson walking through the pits. There's Harry Everts, Sylvain Gabors. That's Brad Lackey's bike. Now practice. There's Mikola. Comes Garrett Wolsink from Holland. The track at Namur is very, very unique. very tight, lots of trees, there are sections of the track that uh, never see sunshine, the trees are so thick. There's Andre Malherbe, he would go on by Sunday afternoon to win his first ever 500 GP. There's Jimmy Weiner, came over to race the last three GPs with Brad Lackey, there's Heike Mikola again. This is practice on Saturday. Garrett Wolsink, Factory Suzuki. Graham Noyce, he would be world champion that year, his first and only world championship. Here comes Roger DeCoster, number 28. So many wins at this track. He was definitely the fastest rider of the weekend. There's Brad Lackey. Jimmy Weinert. Heike Mikola. Here comes Lackey a little further down the track. Here comes Mikola and DeCoster. Generally, the first half of the track, very tight, lots of curves, lots of trees, and it winds its way downhill. At the very bottom, the riders drop out of the trees onto the pavement. It's an actual road. As you can see here, they drop out onto the pavement. There's a bar or restaurant on your right. They go over a jump, and that's a cobblestone road. Now a little further down, there's the Cobblestone Road. Tyke Mikola, Brad Lackey, Andre Muller. This is now Sunday practice. That was Graham Noyce. There's DeCoster. Looks like Brad Lackey. Very first part of the track. After they do the circle at the top near the start. This is the very end of the track. It's a giant uphill from that pavement section all the way back to the top. Three race ceremonies. That was Wilson. Here comes Roger DeCosta on the right. Brad Lackey on the left. Roger received a very special award from, I believe it was the King of Belgium. Jimmy Weiner going to the line. These races are very different. Um, the gate would drop sometimes before the last rider was even up to the line. 
Here they go around the top of the Citadel to Coster in the lead. Second lap to Coster. There's Heike Mikola. Here comes Roger in the lead. Roger had bad luck in both motos. He was clearly the fastest rider. There's Graham Noyce chased by Andre Mahler. There's Brad Lackey with no visor. Here comes to Coster again. Coster in the first moto, I believe his motor seized. In the second moto, he was leading and he got a flat tire. In between motos, there's Heike Mikola. Evidently, he didn't ride the second moto. Here's the start of the second moto. Down at the bottom near the pavement, you can see Roger DeCoster once again leading in front of the massive crowd. Brad Lackey. There's the big hill, the start of the hill that goes all the way back up to the top of the circuit. A lot of climbs, a lot of jumps. Brings you all the way back to the top where the big oval is. 